you hello mathematicians in this video we're going to discuss one very interesting from problem from group theory so if you have an abelian group then all its subgroups are normal okay but conversely suppose there is a group in which every subgroups are normal does it mean that the group is abelian does it imply that the group is abelian that is the question we are trying to address in this problem so to start with we see what is a normal subgroup let g be a group and h is a subgroup of g okay so this is my group g and this is my subgroup h and so you take h in h and g in g i take this h in h and this g in g then g h g in h should be again in h okay okay now this g can coming from anywhere from g okay this g can be inside h also outside h also but if this g is inside h then h is h is in h then g is in h then g inverse will be in h because h is a subgroup so g h g inverse will be in h because h is closed under multiplication right therefore usually we look at uh, g coming from outside and check whether g h g inverse is an element of h okay okay we know the definition of a normal subgroup next uh, one small remark when you define a normal subgroup when you checking whether a set is a normal subgroup or not it is not enough to check only this condition you have to also check whether it is a subgroup or not first let's see why Le first you take uh, g l n r set of all n by n real matrices I define a subset of G H to be set of all matrices whose determinant is 2. Okay. Now we claim that this H satisfies the this condition for normal subgroup. Okay. So I take again an element from the group G and an element from the subgroup subset H. So we claim that M A M inverse belongs to H. Okay. To show M A M inverse belongs to H, you have to show the determinant of M A M inverse equal to 2. Because H contains all the matrices whose determinant is 2. Okay. So, if you calculate determinant of M A inverse, determinant is uh, F, determinant of A B equal to determinant of A into determinant of B. So, using that, you get uh, determinant of M A M inverse equal to determinant of M, determinant of A, determinant of M inverse. But determinant of M inverse is 1 by determinant of M. Okay. So we get uh, these two things cancel. We get determinant of A. But A belongs to H. Therefore, determinant of A will be 2. So we get determinant of M A M inverse is 2. Therefore, M A M inverse belongs to H. Therefore, this set satisfies the this uh, second condition. But uh, it is not a subgroup. Because the identity matrix is not an element of this set because determinant of the identity matrix is 1 okay therefore this set is not even a subgroup so you cannot say it is a normal subgroup so whenever you want to check something is a normal subgroup first you check it is a subgroup if it is not a subgroup then definitely it is not a normal subgroup if it is subgroup then you have to check the second condition okay let's move on that is just a remark now you take a arbitrary abelian group and we take a subgroup h of g we claim that this H should be a normal subgroup. Okay. Again, we take an element from the group G and an element H from H. We have to prove that GH G inverse belongs to H. Okay. GH G inverse belongs to H. Now, GH G inverse equal to G G inverse H. Because it is an abelian group, you can switch these two elements. So, you get G G inverse H. This is not, these two elements cancel, you get H. Okay. So, G H G inverse equal to H, but H is in H, therefore G H G inverse is in H, okay. Therefore, H is a normal subgroup. Now, we ask the converse of this question. Suppose, there is a group G for which all the subgroups are normal subgroup. That group has to be abelian or not. That is the question. So, the answer is no. There is a group g for which all the subgroups are normal but the group is non-abelian so you can um, uh, there are many examples i will state one example you try to find your own example so we look at the uh, quaternion group q8 
it consists of elements plus or minus 1 plus or minus i plus or minus j plus or minus k and its subgroups are anyway singleton identity here the identity element is 1 singleton 1 is a subgroup and the whole group is a subgroup if you calculate its center it will be plus or minus 1 so you have to know first how to calculate the elements in this group so in this group uh, so you draw this uh, diagram so you should uh, it should goes like this i times j i times j will be k cyclically k times i will be j okay j times k will be i okay if you multiply it in this cycle the answer will be the next element if you multiply k times j it you are going against the arrow get k times j will be i but k times j will be minus i because you are going against the arrow okay therefore ij is k and j i is minus k therefore this group is a non abelian group now center of this group you can prove that it is just plus or minus 1 and it has three subgroups of order 4 okay now this is identity element and the group are always a normal subgroup whole group is a normal subgroup center is a normal subgroup if you look at these three subgroups of order 4 they have index 2 what is index of g in h index of g in h equal to order of g by order of h order of g is 8 order of the subgroup is 4 8 by 4 2 so all these three subgroups has index 2 index 2 subgroups are normal Therefore, in this group, all the subgroups are normal, but this group is a non-abelian group because ij equal to k, but ji equal to minus k. Therefore, it is a non-abelian group. Okay, okay, guys. If you like, uh, if you like this video, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.